I'm going to talk you through commissioning a new battery bank. So this is done typically when you have replaced batteries and you have new ones, or alternatively, you have reconfigured the battery bank to uh, remove faulty cells, um, or you have had some kind of system issue where recommissioning the battery banks is the best way forward. So I'm going to talk you through this process. It's quite involved. Please uh, follow in detail and watch several times until you're comfortable before attempting this yourself. So we will start with a completely power down system. The battery inverters are shut down. Uh, we have closed the battery fuses, so we do have battery voltage at the Sunny Island battery inverters. Note that this procedure must be done for each cluster. The clusters manage their own battery banks. So where you have a multi-cluster, three-phase system, you will have to commission batteries the number of times that you have clusters. Right, we will start off by powering up either your single inverter or the main, uh, the master of the cluster that you're gonna be working with. Uh, so off screen, we're turning on the inverter by pressing the on button and you will see that the startup screen appears on the remote control. And we let this run through various steps and where you have init system displaying, press and hold the button. Very important to follow this in time. If you miss that init uh, menu, then shut down the inverter and do it again. Right, the start menu now gives you a variety of options. Start the system, new system, commission a new system, in other words, new battery for commissioning new batteries, uh, a new cluster configuration, or an emergency charge. So in this case, we're going to do a new battery commissioning. We click to accept that. Right, now we have to go through various steps to define the batteries that we'll be using. In this case, we're using flooded lead acid batteries. So click set, and you can go through the options lithium iron, flooded lead acid, or valve regulated lead acid. In this case, we're going to choose flooded lead acid, and we accept. Then roll the button to the right, and we go to the battery bank voltage. A uh, 48 volt bank is the default. If you have removed faulty cells from the bank, you can go all the way down to 42 volts, as you can see here, in the event that you've removed up to three cells from the battery bank. So choose your voltage appropriate to the number of cells you have in your lead acid bank and accept that. Then move on to the next step, which is the battery capacity in amp hours. Now the calculation we won't go into here. I will discuss that in a separate video. However, let's assume that you have calculated a battery amp hour capacity of 1328 amp hours. As you start rolling the button forward, it accelerates the number count, and it's very easy to overshoot. So I advise that you do this quite carefully, keep it going, and now we want it to get up to 1328. I stopped when I got close so that the acceleration would uh, reset, and then I'm up to my 1328 amp hours. Press and accept. I've now clicked one to the right and it's asking me if I'm happy, do we accept, so yes. If you want to review your settings, you can roll the button to the left to check capacity, voltage, uh, and battery type. Then we can accept. You will see that the remote is writing new information to the SD card that's on board. Do not obviously remove the card as per the message, but if you want to see the screen 
Without that, do not remove. You can just move it one click to the left, the button, one click to the left, and you can see the standby screen. Okay, and we may need to do that a few times if you want to refer to this, the, uh, the other screens. You'll see now that it is uh, asking me to start the system, start the inverter, so we can now go ahead and the system will power up as usual, but in the case, case of a flooded lead acid battery, it will go into a full charge and the full charge mode will, if auto gen is enabled, will start the generator. So just be aware of that. But that is how you uh, commission a new battery bank. And from here on, you would just be able to start the system and run as usual.